better viewpoint? A little bit, yeah. Okay. For this foot, anyway. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, I see what you're saying. thing is that um, I'm I try to help out wherever I can mm -hmm. and this letting you do that is helping you helping me right and it's one less thing for you to worry about if we can get you in on a regular basis right. to do this yeah and then so why did you stop seeing a podiatrist for all those years well, I never thought to get one, and I never knew one. Actually, I never looked up a, you know, a podiatrist or whatever. Okay. So then I saw in the, in the Camden House on the refrigerator is your um, a foot. Little foot. And your, yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, I've been, I've been seeing this since '09. Since I, I've been there since '09. Mm -hmm. And I said, why didn't I call this number before? So I initially just, bam, called the number. Okay, well, great. That's why we have those magnets with them. Right. Number. All right, so I'm just going to send in this little piece. I was just looking for the, the thing to put it in, and we don't have any right here. So I'm going to save this little piece, and uh, that and from the big toe, and we'll send that in for culture. You see how thick it is? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, and it has to be painful when you put it in shoes, too. Well, only when I when, when I get them clipped, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But then, obviously, once it grows too long, then I have you know it hurts and blah blah blah. So yeah. Now that was thick. Yep. Wow. I mean. And it's curved around on these edges. So mm -hmm. you got the double whammy. And yeah, I know that. Because what happened, the, the doctor that you were talking about, mm -hmm. he said, well, let's try to take the nail completely out. Mm. And um, on both toes. And uh, it wasn't a problem because I can walk and get, you know, get that uh, taken care of. Mm -hmm. But. Um, I didn't think that I could do that, but he showed me that I could. And then this one came in a little, a little lighter than it is right now. Mm -hmm. And that one, I don't know why it just overcompensated. So, so he didn't remove them permanently. He well, just he, took he, them off and said, "Let's see." The whole thing out. That one. Oh, I'm telling you, that one was. The one I'm working on? No. The other big one, the right one. The right one was that thick. Oof. Once yeah. you took it out, it was literally till the nail, like the, the bone, mm -hmm. it was past the bone. Hmm. That part of the, oh my God, I was like, whoa! And I couldn't feel anything, obviously, because he, you know. Numbed it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I was like, wow, that is, oh my God. I almost fell over. <laughs> I thought I was like, good Lord, is that, that's in my foot? Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, it goes all the way back down to here. No, it was, it was longer than that. Yeah. So, you know, if, yeah, taking them off permanently is an option. I'm going to send in a piece from here too. Um, you can also remove the nail and have it not grow back. That's an option. What do you do? How, how does that happen? We do the same procedure that you had done where they took it off, but then we put some medicine under the cuticle area that kills the cells that make nail. So ultimately, if there's a nail that's too painful, um, that can be, the it whole nail can come nasty, off. nasty, doesn't it? Well, no. I mean, it just the skin underneath becomes just like regular skin. And um, it toughens up just like this. Oh, okay. 
So once it once it all heals, it's not painful or sensitive or anything. Hmm. Um, but let's just see That's first. That's an option. Yeah, let's just see how you do with um, coming in on a regular basis, and yeah. we should be able to keep you pretty comfortable. I think this nail on this side needs to. You know, unless you think it's all right, but I think it needs to be cut. This the big toenail. No, the uh, keep going. We're gonna we're gonna thin them all out. Oh, okay. So when I'm all done, if you think that you want me to take some more, just let me know. Yeah, I think that all those nails on that side are overdone, huh? What do you mean overdone? I mean they go. It's going. They're all thick. Yeah. And yes. And, and I don't like that. Right. Obviously, it's. Uh, it's what you said before it, it happens right but let's see if it's something that's treatable and then you have an option mm. do you want to just keep managing it and coming in and seeing me which would would be every three months or every not every every two to three okay Yeah, I wish I could do that. Hold the nail mm -hmm. and cut with one hand. Well, but okay, it's but so much it's so much easier from up down here yeah. than it is from where you're sitting up there. And with only one good hand. Right. You know? Alright, so let's start over here and we'll get them all thinned out. This is the one you were talking about, right? No, I was talking about the one you did. Oh, then I just did. Okay. It looks good now. Okay. That one was thick. Right? That you're on now? Mm-hmm. Wow. Same thing with a big, big nail, big toe nail. But, and we have to be careful when it pops up like a tent like that. Yeah. Because the skin goes right up underneath it. So if we try and take too much off the top here, we can get right down to the skin. What do you do when you go to the gym? Uh, for two and a half years um, prior, I was going in the um, pool and also going um, doing exercises on. Um, but now, two years prior to the stroke. You no, know, just now. Oh, two years prior to now. But see, in the last three weeks, I was thinking. You know, the reason why I came to the gym was so I could walk. And I wasn't doing anything to help me do that until I was walking in the pool, but that wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, what I'm going to do now, these last two weeks, is walk specifically. When I go over there, I walk, and I um, let my body cool down, then I walk again. You know, because when I walk, oh my God, I, I, I like, I'm busting out in sweat. I, I just 70 uh, feet, and I'm busting out the sweat. Well, do you have to use a brace on this side? No. No. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm um, but you know, I, I'm not. I'm able to physically get my bearings and everything and walk. It's fine. Great. That's like one of those nails over here, uh, right here. 
is uh, split up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah, can and see. that's the skin right, right. There, right underneath it. So the more we take that nail down, hopefully that skin will kind of come down a little bit too. I uh, hope so. Okay. Make sure there's no sharp edges. <laughs> All right, so these are going to feel a ton better. Yes, they already feel better. Good, good, good. Oh my. As soon as they go on the shoe, I'll be dancing around. <laughs> good, that's what we want. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. You limp in and you leap out. Huh? You limp in and you leap right. out. Right. <coughs> yeah, I used to do my cuticles in my hands. Mm -hmm. I can't do that now. I can only do the cuticles on this hand. Oh, because you can only I, use them. Right. Yeah. And that upsets me to no degree. Oh, my God. I haven't done my cuticles in... Shh, ten, ten, at least ten years. Well, you can always go get a manicure. I don't trust them because those manicurists, they don't clean the nail proper, the nail thing properly. Instruments, yeah. And I don't know who to go to, who's a reputable person. You know, I mean, they're not even licensed, literally. Well, they are, but they're... Um you know, what the law says they have to do right. is not as, you know, not the same as what a medical office would do. Right. So, you know, sometimes people will get their own instruments and bring them in. Right. Uh, if you knew somebody who had, who does the proper job, send me to that place, please. I mean, somebody that you know personally. Yeah. We will you know, I'll, we'll talk I'll, off the record here yeah. in a minute. But um, okay, so we're gonna culture the nails. We're gonna get you back on the schedule for two months. Okay. And then we're also going to get the the ball rolling to get that pump to try and get this to go. Yeah, that, that really bothers me too. Yeah. And I, mean, I think that with the, even this one is right. You know, it's a thicker, but it's not quite as bad as this one. Right, and this if we can get really the swelling bad. down, we can get a lot of those skin problems, the wounds and stuff to go away. Yeah. So, all right, and we're good.